Well, the reason I chose Mary Pickford as a subject for this documentary is really she chose me. Uh, I wasn't thinking about doing one on her, but then I met uh, her third and last husband, Buddy Rogers, at a reunion at KU, and he said, when you come back to Hollywood, come up and visit at Pick Fair. And I saw these awards, and I saw, I started hearing about Mary, and he said, hey, if you want to borrow some of her films, I'll lend them to you. And I watched a couple of films, and I went, holy smoke. And then when I found out that she had purchased almost 60% of the material that's in my film in her library, I said, oh my goodness, all this footage is in one place. That helps a great deal. I think I'd like the audience for this film to see what I learned in making it and researching it was that the huge impact that this woman who basically just was inventing an industry as it was going along, who was an actress but turned out to be a major player in the movie business. You know, it being a, a male-dominated industry, I think through the years people learned about Chaplin, they learned about D.W. Griffith, they learned about Harold Lloyd and uh, Buster Keaton, and not so much about Mary. The, uh, the Motion Picture uh, Academy, who she was the founder and one of the founders of, have, has uh, uh, made the Mary Pickford Center for Film Studies on, on Vine, named a, a building after her and the library after Douglas Fairbanks. So they recognized that she was one of the pioneers in the movie business. Well, there were um, quite a few magic moments in the film, but one in particular was kind of interesting because it took us uh, uh, over a decade to really get it together and we lost our money, we had our money. And I went to Las Vegas to this convention of these kind of films for children. And uh, they have a bus that takes you from the hotel to the convention center every morning. And I said, well, I happen to be doing this movie on Mary Pickford. And suddenly the bus just jerked like that. And I went, what the heck? And then when we came to a stoplight, the bus driver turned around, who was a young woman, rather hefty young woman. And she said, did you say Mary Pickford? And I said, I said, yes, I'm doing a film about her. And she says, well, she was my grandmother. And I went, what? I said, are you Roxy's daughter? She says, do you know my mother? I said, no, but I've been looking for her for three years. Well, uh, I, I started making films as a student, as, a, as a, 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 my family was in student eight millimeter movies. And then when I found out that I could uh, do it at college at KU, I majored in film. And uh, so film's always been my love, and, and it's so many young people's love. And uh, now with the internet and YouTube, it's a whole different ball game. And kids can post what they can make at a much uh, cheaper level. So I would, I would advise everybody to uh, submit your film. Uh, we premiered at the Telluride Film Festival way up in the mountains, and that was a big high. I got to meet people like Ken Burns, who watched our film and gave us a great quote. Leonard, Leonard Moulton, uh, and uh, then that fostered uh, us going to Italy at the Portanone uh, Film Festival, which is a silent film festival. And it so happened that that year they tributed Mary Pickford, so they showed two of her films with a full uh, orchestra, and then showed our film. Ben's Film Festival, the Universal Film Festival, seems to have a great appreciation for cinema. And, um, uh, Regina, who contacted me uh, when Ben had given her the film, said that uh, your film expresses two purposes of this film festival. One is uh, a tribute to movies themselves, and the other is entre entrepreneurship, which uh, they want to foster in people. And Mary certainly had that. She, she was an entrepreneur, and even making this film has a certain entrepreneurship about it because we just made it through you know, one funder, and uh, so I think, I think the uh, film festival has a great potential. It's uh, also called the Universal Film Festival, so it can be from all over the world, and I, I wish it great success. I'm certainly am pleased uh, that they chose our film for opening night, and uh, it was a grand